One of the most important NASA missions of all time is New Horizons, which is still currently hurtling through space at breakneck speed. Unlike many projects created by NASA, New Horizons is a very long one, which means it will make a seemingly endless list of discoveries throughout its journey through the cosmos. So, what are some of the most surprising, startling and shocking things that New Horizons has found so far? What mysterious secrets has this special NASA project uncovered? Well, let's find out. New Horizons has only been in orbit for a little more than two decades, but it's been a wild voyage thus far. New Horizons was chosen for funding in 2001, however, it was not included in NASA's 2003 budget. It was launched on an Atlas V rocket from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida a few years later in January 2006. Two earlier launch attempts had been cancelled due to a power failure and heavy winds, but New Horizons was successfully launched into orbit on the third attempt. The new space probe got right to work immediately, detecting and transmitting photographs and data from deep space in no time. Jupiter was New Horizons' first stop, which it made between February and March 2007. The spacecraft swiftly sailed by Jupiter at a distance of less than 1.4 million miles, making it the first spacecraft to fly by since the Galileo probe completed its mission in 2003. An up-close inspection of Jupiter like this is a rare special thing. Io, Jupiter's volcanic moon, was one of the first objects photographed by New Horizons. The spacecraft obtained the sharpest images yet seen of Io's Tvashtar volcano, which revealed a volcanic fallout the size of Texas, all in brilliant clarity. The spacecraft also passed through a massive cloud of charged particles whirling behind Jupiter. While doing this, the probe discovered huge bubbles of plasma as well as fluctuations in the particle stream. Astronomers noted at the time that the findings might help them better understand the environment around hot Jupiter planets in other solar systems, which are planets the size of Jupiter that circle their stars relatively close. Aside from the occasional wake-ups for navigation and system checks, controllers kept the spacecraft in hibernation to save energy and reduce the risk of anything failing. The probe was brought out of hibernation by NASA in December 2014 so that it could prepare for the Pluto encounter and relay data back to Earth. Now wide awake once again, NASA's New Horizons probe sped past Pluto five years ago, providing mankind with its first close-up glimpse at the distant world, revealing glaciers and mountains of water ice. Scientists are now devising a way to return to the past. On July 14, 2015, New Horizons came within 7,800 miles of Pluto, more than nine years after leaving Earth on a fast trajectory that made it the fastest spacecraft ever launched at the time. New Horizons' flyby of Pluto was somewhat nerve-wracking because it's just so far from NASA's reach. The distance between Pluto and Earth, nearly 3 billion miles, posed a powerful barrier for the New Horizons designers, since the sun rays are too faint to create electricity at that distance. Long communication delays are also experienced by individuals trying to communicate with the 1,054-pound spaceship. A one-way transmission from Earth took four and a half hours to reach New Horizons when it arrived at Pluto. In fact, New Horizons was so preoccupied with obtaining data during its July 2015 visit that it didn't communicate with Earth as was intended during its closest approach to Pluto and its biggest moon, Charon. Scientists waited eagerly, terrified that something could go wrong. So when New Horizons called home, Controllers rejoiced because they knew data was on the way. All of the data obtained by Horizons during its encounters with Pluto and Charon took 15 months to download. This was due to the fact that New Horizons could send 1 to 2 kilobits of data per second with total data volume of roughly 6.25 terabytes. It was unquestionably well worth the wait. 
early images from New Horizons revealed Pluto's surface to be remarkably youthful, with a mountain range towering to 11,000 feet. This range, which is thought to be around 100 million years old at most, indicates recent geological activity on the surface, but it's unknown what created it. The mission captured multiple photographs that revealed surprising geologic activity on Pluto, including jagged mountain ranges comprised of solidified water ice, frozen methane dune fields, and the solar system's greatest glacier. This totally revolutionized the way scientists think of and examine icy planets and showed just how much variation was possible even on the coldest frozen worlds. Before we continue, I want to thank NordVPN for sponsoring this video. If you don't know what a VPN is, it allows you to connect to a secure server in whichever country you want so that you can browse the internet anonymously and securely. When you open the app, you can choose which country you want to connect from and quickly have a secure and private connection to the internet. You can choose between their 60 countries and localize your IP addresses in the one that offers you most advantages, avoiding geo restrictions, accessing cheaper prices, and much more. It allows up to six devices to be connected at once without slowing down your internet speeds. So if you want a private, fast internet connection, then NordVPN is for you. You can support my channel by clicking the link in the description to get a great discount. This means if you get a two-year plan, they will give you one month for free, plus an extra gift that could be worth up to two years' worth of unlimited NordVPN. There is no risk either, considering that NordVPN offers a 30-day money-back guarantee. So make sure to sign up soon, because this offer won't last long. Now, back to the video. It is important to note that when New Horizons was first launched back in 2006, Pluto was still known as an official planet and not relegated to the dwarf planet status it has now. The New Horizons project is the first to travel beyond Neptune's orbit to the Kuiper Belt, a ring of tiny frozen planets. Back in 2016, New Horizons' mission was extended so that it could take a closer look at the belt and a few years later, it delivered. New Horizons was hoping to get a good look at the Kuiper Belt object called 2014 NU69, or what is now called Arrokoth. On January 1, 2019, New Horizons arrived at Arrokoth. Because the tiny little world is so far away from Earth, NASA didn't know if the flyby was successful until 10 hours later, since it takes so much time for data to travel through space. New Horizons sailed over Arrokoth at a distance of around 2,000 miles, which was 5,800 miles closer than the ship flew by Pluto at its closest approach. The initial photographs of Arrokoth revealed that it had two lobes, each almost spherical. The biggest lobe was given the name Ultima, while the smallest was given the name Thule. These lobes appeared red and were formerly independent objects that gravitationally attracted to one another over time. According to NASA, it took around 20 months for all of the Arrokoth data to reach Earth, meaning new information was still flowing into NASA in the year 2020. But by March 2019, enough data had been relayed to Earth for experts to generate a map of Arrokoth's complicated geology. The researchers also produced a 3D picture of Arrokoth that displays the relative magnitude of several lumps and bumps. The contact with the tiny body also reveals a lot about how planets are formed, perhaps putting an end to a long-running controversy. So what does the future hold for New Horizons? With New Horizons' remaining fuel supply, another flyby target might be discovered and reached. The tank is literally still full of gas. And what happens after that? One interesting prospect is that after the spacecraft's flyby software is no longer needed, we can greatly enhance New Horizons' capabilities by installing new observation and onboard data reduction software. Yes, a data upgrade and operating system update are possible, and it could give New Horizons a second life. 
If NASA accepts the idea of updating the probe from afar, New Horizons will be able to study the Kuiper Belt in ways that no other mission or observatory on Earth can, and it may even be able to identify and track down its own next flyby target. If NASA funds future New Horizons extended missions, they might go much farther. The spacecraft is flying three astronomical units per year away from the Sun on an escape trajectory. Furthermore, New Horizons and its payload sensors are in fine working order and are capable of sensing, studying and sending back so much more data. The spacecraft has enough power and fuel to last until the mid-2030s or longer, maybe long enough to cross the intergalactic border. Providing more funding for New Horizons is a no-brainer and hopefully it's the path that NASA takes because the probe has proven again and again just how important and vital it is. These are just a few of the fascinating and surprisingly shocking discoveries made by New Horizons. Nearly 20 years since it left Earth's orbit, the probe is making great gains, making history and making observations that change the way we look at the stars and the universe at large. Just imagine what it can do next. Thanks for watching, and if you want to learn more about NASA's space discoveries, then make sure to click the video on your screen, and I'll see you there.